At the same time, we are much more aggressively recruiting teachers, attracting more than 10 resumes now for every opening. A decade ago, we would have been, we would have been lucky to receive two. As a recent independent report from the Illinois Education Research Council confirms, the quality of teaching, even in hard-to-staff schools, is dramatically better today than it was a decade ago. Recruitment is, is critical, and we're very proud of those efforts, but retaining that great talent is probably even more important and is definitely a tougher challenge, and we've tried to work equally hard in that area. In just six years, we've gone from 11 nationally board certified teachers to more than 860, and our goal is to get to 2,400 nationally board certified teachers by the year 2011. And we track very closely the number of teachers leaving the system. The percentage of teachers leaving CPS after three years dropped from 36% in 2003 to 15% in 2007. So we've cut that in more than half, but we still have some hard work to do there. We recognize the need to continue to do a better job of retaining quality teachers in our lowest performing schools. All new teachers get a mentor, and in particularly tough neighborhoods, about 300 teachers this year will work more intensely with coaches from the Chicago New Teachers Center with plans to expand this two-year-old two program to another 30 schools. We must continue to think differently, not just about how we recruit and retain and support teachers, but how we compensate them. And thanks to the, the largest competitive grant we ever received, a $30 million federal teacher incentive fund grant from the Department of Education, we worked with our teachers union to introduce the first pay for, for performance program in the history of Chicago public schools that offers bonuses to great teachers. In fact, the very first payments will be happening this summer based upon rising student achievement. Performance-based pay for teachers will be expanded from 10 to 20 high-need schools this fall, and there is tremendous demand amongst schools for this, amongst our best teachers. For the initial pilot, we had over 120 uh, schools apply, and we would only go to schools where 75 percent or more of the teachers wanted this. So there's tremendous demand. Uh, let me just conclude with, with a couple ways in which uh, we'd love to continue to partner with the federal government. As others here have said, the uh, No Child Left Behind Act with a focus on accountability was a huge step in the right direction. The focus on subgroups was a huge step in the right direction. But the one thing that was interesting is I think there's always this debate around what's loose and what's tight. And I want to echo my, my colleagues in saying that I think this part could really be improved, I think, fairly dramatically. It's pretty interesting. What was very loose was the goals that we were all shooting for. And 50 different bars doesn't make sense. What was tight was how you get there. And some of those things didn't quite make sense, choice before tutoring and other things. I think if we reverse that, if we were tight on the goals that hold us all to very clear standards, but were loose in how we got there and allowed creativity and uh, autonomy at the local level to get to those standards, I think that would make a lot of sense. Um, secondly, I can I completely agree with Chancellor Klein, the focus on growth and gain, what we call value added, is so much more important than the absolute bar. We have, like other school systems, we have some of the best schools in the country. We have a lot in the middle, and unfortunately, we also have some of the worst. I'm not interested in what their absolute performance is. I'm interested in how much better those schools are getting, how much better those students are doing each year. The only way to measure that is not by looking at absolute test scores. It's by looking at gain, by value add, and those growth models are so important. And then finally, continue to fund innovation. I know, Chairman Miller, you worked so hard on the teacher incentive fund model. That is truly a cultural breakthrough for us in Chicago and other places. So continue to use, as, as the, uh, the mayor said, the power of the purse to fund those things that really force us and push us to think outside the box and try and dramatically change the life chances of our children. Thank you.